Hi guys, my name is Roger. Welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you something about the VSYNC, but a more technical part of the VSYNC. Because I receive questions from people about how to save projects or samples, how to load them. And in this video, I show you how to download some refills from the Roland website to put them on a CF card, then how to start with a clean VSYNC, load a project, save it into the internal memory, then saving some patches, creating a sample, saving that sample, and then you will notice that it's easy as one, two, three. Because in the beginning you think, wow, looks all difficult, looks all difficult. Yes, but it isn't, it isn't. As long as you save your work, as long as you save your samples and make backups of your work, you're fine, you're okay. So in this case, Let's get started and I will show you how to download the files, get them here on this one and then into your VSYN. Okay guys, ready? Here we go! So I went to the Roland website and I noticed there are some refills available and also a very nice refill with the old sounds of the first VSYN version. So you can see over here the VSYN already that I have inserted the CF card into my reader. And in this case, I'm going to just very easy select the files I want to have on the uh, card, like this, step by step. And I'm going to drag them to, in this case, the CF card. Meanwhile, I also um, dragged and dropped the JB's project, which is an amazing free sound pack. And what's very important, and that's what I'm doing right over here, is to rename them because every project needs to have a .prg. Those VA and VB are from the Fairy OS because you can use the sounds of the Fairy OS also with your VSYNC. That will be for another video because you can use other waveforms than the standard ones. So on the website of Roland you can download the Fairy OS software, the 303 and the Jupyter 8 software. And those sounds are also editable and available in your VSYNC very nice so it's very easy all packs are downloaded and just ejecting and now we are going to the visa so i got here the cf card with the files on it and i will insert it into this pcmca card and i will insert it in my visa but first i will start up i hold exit and press power so to start with a clean visa an empty visa Okay, uh, to show you that it's empty, I'll show you over here the list and there are no patches at all. And also in menu, no, in, not in this menu, over here, mode and sampling, you will notice that if I press sampling over here, that we have 570 seconds sampling time so it's totally empty and this is also for uh, the great Matt Johnson from Jamiroquai who has an amazing video on YouTube about the VSYNT where he plays very nice um, he mentions that the VSYNT has a very small memory but it's also got this thing where you can sample into it it's got tiny memories like 12 and a half seconds of memory or something so you just get a little one second blip of something. And I'm sorry to correct you or to add, uh, let me give it as an addition, uh, 570 seconds sampling time, which is a lot with this VSYNT. And for sure, your VSYNT was packed full of incredible sounds. So then, yes, then you will have less sampling time. Okay, let's continue. I will insert the PC card. And in this case, I go to disk. So now we are able to load projects. Internally, we don't have anything. So I can't load an internal project because it's empty, empty. Because I have formatted the internal memory. That's very easy to do. I will show you. I go to exit and over here you see format and you can choose internal format. And then you erase the complete memory of the vSynth. But now I'm going to load a project. 
So I go to cart and then we see over here all the files um, from, the, from uh, my computer. And now you see why it's important to have the .prg uh, because then it's recognized as a project by the vSynth. So let me go to the uh, last one because the last one is a special one from Roland with the um, old vSynth uh, files. So I'm going to load these ones because I'm not uh, familiar with those sounds. Because this is a 2.0 uh, version and I didn't have the uh, 1.0 version, but I downloaded the project from uh, from the Roland website. Very nice, very easy. So it's completed. Okay, I do exit, exit. I go to patch, and now we see here Krusty break. Instead of uh, the V uh, code, we see Krusty break. <laughs> Okay, cool. <laughs> nice. Wow, th th this must have been impressive when you bought the Vsynth in that time and then having these sounds um, available. Sounds wonderful. Wow. Okay, cool. I can play along with it. Um, all the I go to a list and I want to check how many sounds they have. Okay, so 128 sounds. Well, 127 and zero. zero yeah. Okay, 127 sounds are created. So um, I received a question about uh, saving saving sounds and those kind of things so you know what um, we are going to create a simple sound and then uh, we are going to save it and i will put that uh, project into the internal memory and then we start up without the pc card and then you will see that it is loaded first we are going to create a sound do something with this um do i want to adjust something I'm going to show you something else with the arpeggiator because the arpeggiator has a very nice pattern uh, motif in this case the phrase this one okay I'm going to adjust the TVA I want to have a better attack okay and okay cool I choose this sound I do pattern edit I'm going to clear this, all clear, because with a phrase you can record some notes with the keys and then use it as an arpeggio. So let me uh, do the following. Real recording, now we hear the metronome. Okay, this is recorded. I do exit and now I turn on the arpeggio and this is the phrase I've played. This is very cool, very nice. Um, let me check over here. I see that the uh, BPM is 120. I can change the BPM. If I hold shift, I make bigger steps. So let's do it on 135. I even can um, speed it up by changing over here the grid. But I leave it like this. Okay, cool. So in this case, I say, well, this is a sound I want to save. So I do menu, patch right, and in this case, I want to have it on 127 because that's the last one. Or well, 128, no patch. I want to have it here. Okay, I do execute. 
and it's writing. It's writing, in this case, the uh, sound to 128. So, 127 and 128. With the re uh, created arpeggio. Okay, now it's very important because I have to save this project. If I want to save that sound, I have to save the project. So save project and it's saving now on the card. It's not saving in the internal memory, but it's saving onto the card. So now I want to have it over here on the internal memory. memory. So I press now internal memory. I do OK, save project, internal project will be replaced. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I press execute. And now it's saving the project into the internal memory of the vSynth. So this means that I can take out the card, I can start up, and if I'm right, if I've done everything right, I will take out the card now. I turn off my vSynth, I turn it on, and if I'm right, it should start with the saved project. And also with my graded sound on 128. Let's give it a try. I press shift and I make steps of 10, 121, 24, 27, 128. So here it is. Now I want to do something else. Because Let's make this sound um, polyphonic. So it's now polyphonic. And I will um, turn off the... I will turn off the uh, MFX, the stereo delay. Yeah, I'm going to sample a chord like this. Okay, so I go to mode, sample. I press sampling. In this case, I have to choose resampling because I'm staying in the vSynth. So I press resampling. But the, I notice it's very, it's very soft. So I have to select over here the pre effect. And in this case, I want to have the compressor on with a higher level. That's perhaps too loud. Okay, and I only want to sample a chord. You know what? I do it also without reverb. Very dry, like this. Okay, trigger is note, so when I play the notes, it will start sampling. Here we go, very simple. And I stop. This is the sample. Great. Now we see over here, use a sample. I'm going to edit the sample because I'm going to edit the starting time and the ending time. I will zoom in a little over here and the end time, I zoom out now a little and the end time needs to be there. Preview. Very simple sample. Okay. I do truncate, so all the parts are removed. Now I have a clean sample, preview, okay, cool. I go back, I, do I want to encode it? Yeah, let me encode it, for sure. always to be sure. Okay, I encode it, so it's encoded now, and I have to save it immediately. Where do I want to save it? Well, the PC card is not inserted, so I save it now into the internal memory. Save project, internal project will be replaced. I do yes, and it's now saving that sample. Cool, sample is saved. Now I go to patch. I go to patch 129, which is an empty patch. This is an empty patch, and I'm going to use my created sample over here. So this is PCM, then I will search for my sample. I can search with the value dial, I can use shift also, and I can also use list, 
and I can search for the sample and the sample is over here and I have to turn on oscillator 1 it's looping I don't want to have it looped and the ferry switch is on it's old style uh, house very simple then let me add a filter over there I will turn on the filter Then also I can play with the arpeggio. For example, I choose motif again the phrase, pattern edit, I clear this one, all clear, a real time recording. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so this is now a phrase with the arpeggio. Okay, why I'm doing this? Yeah, just for fun, just for fun. Uh, and again, step modulator on what kind of the custom one, the frequency, and the frequency needs to be like this. A little bit higher over here. I use the knobs now in this case. Okay. Okay. It's just fun playing like this. Uh, I don't do anything, but it's fun. But okay. Again, this is the, these steps are so important. Disk, save project, internal. If you don't do this, you will lose. You will lose all your hard work. Do it. Always save your work. So okay, it's saved. Now I turn it off. And if I've done everything right, it should have been saved. But perhaps I missed a step. I don't know. I don't remember it anymore. Okay, it's loading. So, shift 129. TMM test. Here it is. So, okay, guys. This is it. Don't be afraid. Just save your work. And also, you can save it on, in this case, on a CF card. Put this card in your computer and save it. Save what's on it. Make backups of it. I hope this was enough information for you regarding saving. And we see each other next time, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.